Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are back here in uh, Val Royal. What the hell was that? What are the Grand Clerics doing while the maid circles lie empty? I, uh, I <laughs> holy shit! I came out of nowhere. What was that? A message is attached, written in a large flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special, I want to help, and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royo. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks and round the cafe, and maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the locations of the market is attached. What the shit is that? Um... What part is that? What quest is that a part of? The inner circle? A friend of Red Jenny. Oh. Search by the dock, in the cafe, and in the in the upper market. Right. That scared the shit out of me. Like, like, obviously with wearing headphones, that smashed right into me. That was quite terrifying. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, Maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? What do you mean you broke the chant? Are you also ignorant of the Maker's most basic rites? The chant of light is how we honor the Maker. They are the only words that the faithful should hear from my lips. But I can't. Our divine is dead. Our Templars, gone. The Maker's silence is deafening. What hope have we? Yeah, there's not much for, um, faith here, is there? The Inquisition will bring order. The Inquisition yep. can give you the answers you need. So, I have a faith I've lost. Or one that seeks to drive it from me. I can't even look to our Templars. How is this not darkness? Well, it's pretty messed up. Blessed are the righteous, the light in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. I will leave you to that then. I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. You think? Um. <laughs> so, oh, there you, you go. The of I thought you meant the, the arrow, but no, it's this I guy. Have an invitation for you. Okay. You're, co you're cordially invited to attend my salon held, the Chateau of Duke Bastion de Ghislaine. Yours, Vivienne de Fur, first enchanter of Montsimard, enchanter to the Imperial Court. Okay, interesting. Rather interesting indeed. Uh, Master Leon, God, there is a lot. It's, it's very overwhelming, is this Valreo. So what was the little bit on this side? What does that say? Grace of the Empire South, reserved for his strangeness to sound and his static puppets behind glass. Interesting. Is everything okay with you guys? Uh, just out of curiosity. Because you seem rather, um, you know, pained right now. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind, along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Are you the Maker's Chosen, as so many claim? I don't know, yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't know. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. Fair enough. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? 
We have already done so. And what good has it done us? Well, you got a right hand by Lucius for your troubles, so. If we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the conclave. What becomes of us and your inquisition is in the Maker's hands now. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? <laughs> He's crafting the Templars into a new power. Really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself. I wonder if it's to do with Red Lyrium. That is kind of symbolic of Red Lyrium usage. The Lord Seeker would do exactly. Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. What well, the Inquisition? Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed efforts against the mages from him, and yet more chaos. Happy days. How many Templars turned on the Chantry exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn her holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? The Templars? The Maker's will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. We will find a way forward, yeah, you could still help us. Not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Very well. This is the docks down here, isn't it? Yeah. Difficult time for those who have lost. While I understand concerns for, for, for propriety in the general dressing of the bazaar, I must caution that release is needed. We are suffering not just ongoing civil conflict pitting brother against sister, not just outright war pitting Templar against mage, not just the loss of our most holy and the best of our leaders. We are suffering all three as the sky is wounded for all to see. All we know of our world is threatened, all, all along with all we know of the next. With this most grave notation, I ask that the writs of losses are missing remain. That the citizens, however, indirectly be allowed to post, post their griefs of known dead in the names of hopefully living, and with them, their criticisms of, of how they have been told or not told. But while I have no doubt we as all legions will maintain our utmost composure, there must be release. There must be grief. There must be mourning. If not, we, we do not allow this simple expression. We risk a greater outburst. Let our people shed their tears in as reserved a means as necessary. The market will, will be cleared in due course, but this day, this time, we must let this simple expression stand. Fair. If you want symbolism, you can have it. I mean, not that I can do anything about it anyway, to be quite frank, but you know. Uh, right, what else is in the docks? Oh, is this one of the things we have to look for, perhaps? Oh, Mirror de la Mer re reveals folly. Miroir de la Mer was cut from Varro in 849 Blessed. It was the will of the Mad Emperor Revel who demanded a reflecting pool large enough to draw his vain deceased mother back across the veil. Many shops and vendors were evicted to make room for his fall. In several memorials of the heroes, the first four blights were simply toppled. The, re the reservoir supports little in the way of life as the bottom was lined with lead to increase its reflective, pro uh, reflective properties. 
Reveal intended for, its, for intended it for divination using both his massive planchettes, but work was not finished until the week of his own death. The waters see little use today, save for lazy or fornication sojourns by the nobility aboard decorative gondolas. We should search the area. You're telling me what's this? Fish. Reservoir stocking evaluation. Tremors floating, tastes off water bird style. Free stocking fail. Fish not fit, do not consume. Let's eat them all. Um Oh, is it this thing on the floor? Red handkerchief. He lifted from drunk, swearing about Herald. Don't know what door I'm out, my debt is paid. Okay. What's this thing, be? Oh, the Randy Dowager Quarterly. A waterlogged quarterly missive of a suspect virtue. The Randy Dowager welcomes the blooms of spring uh, with the collected... Calipigian Curacias being a scandalous representation of Her Majesty's favoured court in flagrant delectable. Can their uniforms and modesty withstand the assault? The Randy Dowager, exhibitions for the noble of Thor but, sp but spry of step. The lady herself says, hardly a tetheras, but generously arousing if polished cuirass does it for you. And it should. Three scarves fluttered in shock out of five. I I honestly have no idea what, what, what the stuff in, in that thing is meant to even say. Um... Was that like a review? Maybe? Like, three out of five... something. Th th three scarves fluttered and shocked at it, sir. Like... Right, Barnabas, what do, what do you sell, sir? Open? Yes, as open as I can be. Uh, if you've a need for the well cut or the sparkling, perhaps I can help. At the very least... <laughs> Sorry about that, I kind of cut you off there. Uh, so I can get a tonics belt, a potions belt, a guard belt. Uh, maximum guard. Grenades. Sunder. Plus two sunder when hit. Uh, stagger on being hit. Spirit resistance. Range defense. Melee defense. Maximum health. Heal bonus. Focus. Fire resistance. Sundering. Oh, there's a lot of stuff, isn't there? Uh, what, what of us are not using... Uh, so we... We don't, so we have a staggering belt and we have a dexterity amulet. And we also have these two rings, spinning blades and then poison weapons. I mean, Cassandra doesn't have an amulet. Uh, she probably doesn't really need that belt. Open. Sorry, yes, I didn't mean to speak to you. Uh, so if we give her the belt of melee defense, buy that for Cassandra. What else do we need? We have everything equipped. She's got everything equipped. Casolus doesn't have a belt. And Varric doesn't have one ring. So we need we can... a belt for Varric. Yeah. And... A belt for Varric and a ring for Solus. Uh, so he can have... What does he want? I mean, is it... Is, is all this really that good for him? Focus, maybe? That could be quite good, I suppose. Yeah, if, if I buy a Varric a belt of focus for the time being, and a ring as well. Uh, life drain? Heal on kill? That's not too bad, I suppose. Or just ring of attack? Very penetration. Eh. I will we'll, we'll give Source a Barry penetration ring. Oh no! You know, you know what barriers are. It's not just the, the it's the mage's barriers. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I just realised. Yes, of course. Yes. Boom. So. Oh fuck. Cassandra also doesn't have an amulet. I just realised that. I've bought them. I, I've I've bought them the, the wrong way around. You know what? You can have that, Varric. Just, just, just wear it. I've, I've honestly bought them the wrong way around. How have I done that? Oh, what an idiot! What an absolute fucking idiot! Right, um, you can have that. So let's have fun. Does he sell amulets? I don't think he does. Does he actually just belt and rings? Hey, he doesn't actually sell amulets. What a weirdo. What an absolute weirdo. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not amused by that in the slightest. Um, hello, noble citizen. He's a war on, and the Templars just left? Yep. 
That's the Templars for you. That's Lucius for you. Well, you're clearly happy to happy to be here. Um Well, this has all been a frustrating mess. Templars and Chantry and especially the mages, just everything. I apologize if you were refused service, but we are now open for business. Especially if you put my words to use. Okay, what do you actually sell? You sell, you sell weapons and armor. Oh, just you just sell mage things. Okay, well if we can get swords up. Why is your stuff not very good? Apart from this one thing you have here. Um. Oh, hello. Oh, but no, you, we can't even. Yeah, it's level eight, isn't it? God damn it! Why? Oh, I didn't check the upgrades. Ah, ha ha! Hold on a second. So, Solus, what are you actually using? Um. So he's got. So he can have a staff blade and a staff grip. And apprentice. What. What's Solus wearing? Hold on. Solus is currently wearing an apprentice coat. So, so he needs the upgrades for the apprentice coat. I think he already has the arms, doesn't he? I think. Yeah, yeah, he's already got the he's always got the arms. He just he just, he just needs the legs. So if we just buy him the upgrades, for the apprentice coat. There we go. Buy him for that. Uh, that's all we can really get from here, I think. Or anything else we can get him. Uh, whoa! What the shit happened there? It was very weird. If I might have a moment. Is that just us time. trying to leave? Even though I was actually going to a shop, but carry on. Yes. Who are you exactly? Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? That's very dangerous when the Templars are all around. And I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. You weren't the Conclave? I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the conclave. Yes, you were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. Ah. I pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. You think the Templars did it, yeah. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? <laughs> Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses. If he's concerned he about He doesn't, to be all, fair. It's a good you point. Him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. Will he help us? Yeah. Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both. Meeting all. in Redcliffe, okay. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Interesting. We have some codex that we did actually unlock too there. Um, Grand Enchanter Fiona. Grand Enchanter Fiona is considered an anomaly among mages. She is, for instance, the only member of the Circle of Magi ever to leave due to recruitment by the Grey Wardens and then return. The circumstances of that return are largely unknown, but the notoriety she gained within the Circle allowed her to rise rapidly in the ranks. She became first Enchanter of the, of the Monster Mad Tower and then elected Grand Enchanter of the College in Cumberland. The latter was based on her adv advocacy for greater mage freedom, a view she claimed her time with the Warden supported. Urging for a vote on the matter led to the College of Enchanters' dis d dissolution in 940 Dragon, and then when a vote was attempted secretly to Lord Seeker Lambert of the Seekers of Truth, uh, of the Seekers, um, to Lord Seeker Lambert of the Seekers of Truth, arresting Fiona and her fellow Enchanters. There we go. 
Following their flight to the ruin of Andorral's Reach, the escape mages helped and passed the final vote on the circular mage as independence. This began the Mage Rebellion. While Fiona no longer holds the official position of Grand Enchanter, most mages still consider her an integral part of the Rebellion's leadership. And then Lord Seeker Lucius Corrin. For months we were also certain Lord Seeker Lambert's death was an assassination carried out by mages. He had, after all, declared the Navarran Accord null and void, hurling us headlong into a war against the rebels. Why else would, would he be killed except as an act of retribution? The entire Templar Order was fired up, ready to take up the flight, the fight against the mages, something we were sure would be over in a matter of weeks. Thus the election of Lucius Corrin to the role, to the role made me despair. According to the few seekers of truth with whom I spoke, he was a moderate. He agreed to the Divine's Conclave, and every Templar I knew felt certain he would compromise to see the war ended. But lately the man seems different, does he not? I never met him uh, before he assumed command, but even in the short time his opinions on the war have turned. He did not, did not go to the Conclave he personally supported. In fact, he seems to regret supporting it at all. He talks of the Temple as establishing himself as power in our own right, and, and our fellows are all are all too eager to listen. I don't know where from where this change of heart came, but I begin to wonder if Lambert's death wasn't as, wasn't as simple a matter as we assumed. Something is amiss within our order, and all I know is that it's beyond me to discover what. See, Red Red Lyrium seems seems the obvious culprit for something. Some someone someone's changing heart like that. Like it seems, it's very similar to Meredith. Like Meredith was tyrannical anyway, but. Uh, I am open to you and yours. I price at a premium for everyone, so don't assume it's because you're with the Inquisition. I expect my customers to know a rarity when they see it, just as I do. Fair enough. What do you actually sell? You sell a lot of different things. But you also sell quite high level things, which I am currently unable to use. Uh, oh, actually. Ah, we may we may have to come back and buy, and buy these upgrades, actually. Thinking about it. We have an Enchanter Staff Blade. Spiked Pommel, which is... That'll be for a sword, I think. Masterwork Bound Dagger Grip. And then the balance two-handed grip, which is also a pommel. Strength or constitution there. Um, right. So do we possibly buy? Let's see, I think I think the one we have is actually kind of better because it suits us more. Like willpower doesn't seem as useful to us as the critical damage and flanking bonus. We can probably buy that. Yeah, we'll buy these two. Even though it will cost me a, quite a bit of money, that will. But we may as well... We may as well try, right? Um, so any any other shops we can have a look in? Uh, just very quickly, what I would like to do, actually, is... Um, anything up above? Can't see anything up above at the minute, but maybe it's because we haven't actually been up there yet. I'm not sure. What I would very like to quickly do before we do actually end the episode is I want to quickly go to the merchant I spoke to about the accessories and see if he has anything else other than accessories to sell because I didn't really check it particularly well. I'll do that now. Hello, Barnabas. How are you, sir? Um... I, I, I can buy valuables... If I really wanted to buy valuables, I could, but it cost me over a thousand gold. Like, uh, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Um, so that's it, basically. Okay, fab. So thank you all very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.